everyone and this is just you know i'm trying to develop something about the website you know uh, you just you know try to copy the link here solution website and yeah that's name is you know a bit weird for the name of a website but you know i'm just trying for it okay so this is just the interface of what the website content is examination solution right and right the videos are constantly being updated and this is the solution I have covered, okay? About Gakubu Math, Gakubu Chemistry, Gakubu Physics, and this will be coming soon. Coson Chemistry and Senshu, right? And yep, I think maybe I could, you know, touch in content with the A-levels and everything. And if you want to suggest, you know, what kind of content that I should make, and you just, you know, can make your... Uh, submission here for the email or you can actually you know directly contacted me at the gmail and for the instagram uh account it has actually already been created but i will develop it soon okay so yeah stay tuned for the next you know, update everyone welcome to this mumtuka gaku show uh, mathematics b 2014 and it's been a while now now let's continue to discuss about uh, part one and number two. And you can see there in the question is that you have to find let A be a constant and if the constant term of x cubed plus A over x squared to the power of five, the constant of it is equal to minus 270, you have to find A. Now, how to find this? Uh, for this type of uh, term here, you can use the Pascal triangle. So if you don't know about that, you can search it through the internet. Now, Pascal triangle is basically, you know, just imitating a triangle. So 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So basically, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, then you add 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, and you get the idea. Now, what is the relation between Pascal triangle and this type of uh, multiplication here? This, to find the, uh, the constant term here, you can actually speed up the calculation using the Pascal triangle. And you can see here, there is the multiple of 5. So you can use this line here, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Now, how to actually implement this method? Now, let me show you the example. Let's use this, you know, pretty simple, x plus y to the power of 5. Now, you can actually find the expansion of this term by using this simple Pascal triangle. Now, this number here, in part uh, in, in 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 the five line here, in the fifth line you can actually make that as a constant so 1 5 10 10 5 and 1 and now to the power of 5 you can make x to the power of 5 x to the power of 4 times y and x to the power of 3 and y squared 10 x squared y cubed x y fourth and y to the power of five now you might wonder that this x to the power of five gradually decrease x to the power of four x to the power of three x to the power of two and x and the y variable uh, gradually increase y y squared y cubed y fourth and y to the power of five now this is not actually just you know a random order now imagine you actually Let's say you really calculate it. For example, let's try a simplest term, a simple e simple expansion. For example, x plus y to the power of three. So, if I really try to expand that with a you know usual way, if I multiply if, if I multiply this x squared plus two xy plus y squared, right, and I multiply that with x plus y, I can see that this is x to the power of three, then x squared x squared y then 2x squared y then 2xy squared then xy squared 
and y cube. And y and when I add the the same variable together, this is the same variable. I can add that, and this is also the same variable. I can add that too. You can see that the variable of x gradually decrease, right? x cubed, x squared, and x, and then no power here, and variable of y also gradually increase, y, y squared, y cubed. And you can see that this is to the power of 3. And you can see the constant, 1, 3, 3, 1. And with the Pascal triangle, 1, 3, 3, 1. So basically, uh, the quickest method is just, you know, you gradually decrease the power of the x variable and you gradually increase the power of the y variable. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, then y is, you know, the reverse of it. Okay, so you could actually apply this method to this type of expansion. The difference is this variable is x, but this variable is x cubed, right? And in the y variable, it is ax squared. So you can actually change that x to be x squared, x cubed to the power of 5. And this is actually, you add that. And then you can make x, you just substitute that, right? And y is ax squared plus 10 x cubed to the power of 3. And then y. So basically, for this type of method, you just need to familiarize yourself with it. Otherwise, you know, you will be you know much more confused on how to actually use this method. And you just continue that until uh, you're done. Now you can see that this variable of x can cancel each other, and for the constant term, you need that to have no variable at all. Right, so if you see just specifically at this variable, you can see that this is x to the power of 15, that is not the constant term. This is one, it's x to the power of 7 over x to the power of 2, which is x to the power of 5, that is not a constant. And what about this? This is x to the power of 9 over x to the power of 4, which is x to the power of 5, not the constant. And then this one, x to the power of 6, right? Then x to the power of uh, 6 also. So that is end up in 1. So this is our constant term. So if we actually just look at that, 10 of x cubed squared a over x squared to the power of 3 is equal to minus 170, right? So if we open that, a cubed x to the power of 6 minus 270. And you just, a cubed is minus 27, right? You cancel this, and a is minus 3. So the answer to the number 2, the constant term of that expansion is minus 270, so a is minus 3. So basically for this question, you just need to familiarize yourself on how to quickly expanded this expansion with the Pascal triangle. And remember that this Pascal triangle, these numbers here, will be a constant, right? So whether it is, you know, x plus y to the power of uh, 8, for example, you, you didn't need to, you know, expand manually with this method. It is just will, you know, waste your time. You just need to, you know, expand this Pascal triangle. So you can see that you just add it, 6, 15, 20, you add it 15, and you add it 6, and you just add 1 here, 1, 7. You can actually, you know, try to do this quickly. And then this is 28, 56, 70, 56, 28, 8, 1. Now this is the line of constant for this expansion. So, and then for the variable here, you just make it gradually uh, increase and decrease, right? For for variable x, start with x to the power of 8, then you gradually decrease it. And then this is the way, right? You can see that x is gradually uh, decreasing, y is gradually increasing. So you can see you didn't, you didn't need to expand it manually, you just 
you know, automatically get the right answer. So you can see here, the constant is, you know, from left to right. So it is 1x to the power of 8 plus a to the power of 7y, 28 plus 56 plus 70, and then plus 56 plus 28 plus 8 plus 1. So this is the expansion of this. You can see, I just do it in one line. Well, I just, you know, expand this Pascal triangle too. So that is how you actually expand that, right? It saves your time. And if you don't believe it for this result, you can just try it by yourself, right? So that is for Gakubu Maths B of part one, number two, right? Stay tuned for next part. And thank you for watching.